Tesla have just shared a new video of the Optimus bot or the Optimus Tesla robot sorting through battery cells in the factory. Now, Tesla want to have these robots actually working in the factory by the end of the year. Part of the reason they fired 10% of their staff worldwide is Tesla believes robots can take over at least a certain percentage of those jobs. Here's what's been happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla is investing an unprecedented amount of money at the moment, but not in EV development, not in car development, in autonomous development, as in, in you know, artificial intelligence, training its robots, improving the robot, improving full self-driving, improving Tesla's ability to actually functionally use their artificial intelligence. Recently, as in within the last 24 hours, Tesla shared a video of Optimus actually looks like working in Tesla's factory. It's a little bit slow, but the big difference here that I can see between the Optimus bot and other robots from China and from uh, companies such as Boston Dynamics in the United States, which Hyundai own, is it looks very dexterous, as in it's able to do small little um, delicate tasks with its fingers that other robots can't. Bit slow though at this point in time, I'm sure Tesla will speed it up, but it's still a little bit slow. Tesla shared a new video of its Optimus Humanoid bot showing off the technology's ability to sort battery cells, take walks, and perform other factory tasks. In a post made on the Optimus X account on Sunday, which is the official account for, for Tesla's humanoid robot program, the robot is seen using its end-to-end -end neural network to perform basic factory tasks as per Tesla Rati, including sorting 4680 battery cells. So those battery cells you see, they are the larger 4680 cylindrical battery cells. The video highlights the robot's ability to do this autonomously, even fixing its own mistakes as it goes along. That's kind of interesting that it can think like that. I made a mistake, I've got to fix that, and it fixes it. The video says that the Optimus robot uses cameras, hand tactile sensors and force sensors to collect data about its surroundings and to actually learn. Tesla says the robot is already being tested at one of the company's factories with human interventions continuing to decrease as Optimus improves over time. It's a little bit like Tesla's full self-driving. Humans have to intervene still sometimes. But the number of interventions is going down and that's the idea here with a Tesla bot. Along with sorting battery cells and being tested at one of Tesla's factories, the video notes that Optimus can walk further than ever before, showing the robot as it takes a stroll through the office. So clearly the efficiency, maybe the battery pack is bigger. Anyway, something has changed there and the robot is getting better. There's obviously all different teams work on the bot. And one of them would be the, um, you know, the, the power team and they've clearly improved the power of the robot. Uh, you can see the video here, which it's, it's um, it's interesting, the Tesla bot is clearly getting better, but it's really hard to know yet at this point exactly what it's capable of. Tesla have been showing updates every month or a couple of months, showing progress as its walking rate has increased along with its precision when performing tasks. This is common in the industry. It's not only Tesla doing this, everyone is doing this with their robots, they're sharing updates. So I know people get a bit like, oh, Tesla bot, it's, you know, Tesla are overdoing what, they're kind of overselling its abilities. But everyone, everyone's sharing videos of their robots every couple of months. Um, I think this is just kind of intriguing to see where this is going. We know that, for example, Xiaomi, they're using robots in their factory. They're using a massive gigacasting machine. They can now build an EV in 67 seconds, they're saying. And part of the reason that it's so cheap for Xiaomi to produce cars, cheaper than I believe possibly even, maybe even Tesla, is because of the automation involved. There's very few humans involved in their production of a vehicle. This would be huge for Tesla to be able to reduce costs of their cars. Massive. Probably more important than mega casting or actually an unboxed technique of building a car is having robots replace human beings. They're so much cheaper. Now, is this good for humans? Maybe not. But is it good for Tesla? Yes. Tesla has shown off the robot's ability to fold laundry, sort objects autonomously, and do physical movements like yoga. And Musk said in December the units would be ready to thread a needle within a year. At the Q1 2024 earnings call last week, Musk highlighted that Optimus has already been performing factory tasks and is expected to become more widely used in the coming years in Tesla's factories in particular. 
He says that Tesla expects to have the Optimus units performing a range of useful tasks in the factory, as in in Tesla's factory is actually working by the end of this year. And they want to be selling the robots to other companies, as in the global labor market, displacing humans around the world by the end of 2025. So we're looking at just over a year and a half. Will that happen? I mean, I'm going to guess that's one of Elon Musk's aggressive timelines. It's probably not that likely to happen. But will they be selling them within a few years? Definitely. In March, Musk said the price of Optimus would be less than $25,000 or $30,000. He said it'll be less than half of a car, as in the cost to produce. So Tesla's cost of producing one of these bots would be much, much lower than obviously a large vehicle. And that's where Tesla can make some big profits. But I think Tesla's probably more likely going to license these bots rather than actually sell them. You pay a subscription fee, uh, almost like paying to have a human working. It's almost like paying the UAW to have a human working at your factory, but it'll be much cheaper than a human. A humanoid robot is less than a tenth the weight of a car. Can the manufacturing ramp be 10 times that of a vehicle? Does that even matter? Seems like the constant is going to be software capability, not manufacturing capability. Now, Sam Chorus tweeted this or put this on X and Elon Musk responded saying complexity per unit mass is much higher with humanoid robots, but I still think it ends up costing less than half of the price of a car. That would make sense. A humanoid robot, even though the complexity is, you know, the finite complexity of those fingers and the small details would be immense. It's so much smaller than a car. I see how it would be much cheaper to produce. That's what Musk is saying here. I believe Tesla thinks that much more important to the company is the humanoid bot rather than actually producing vehicles. And that's why they're pivoting at the moment. Do you agree? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching.